Next thing we need to do is to update the total quantity field. Now remember that the total quantity field is based on the four quantity boxes. Okay, even though we're only working on the first one now, we need to include the others. Okay, so we go back into our code. And what I always do is when I go into a different section, is I leave a gap so I can see where it is really easy. Okay, so I'm going to dimension another throwaway variable. This time I'm going to call it, um, what should I call it? I should call it Totty. I set it equal to zero. Okay, now then Totty is going to be equal to the value of quantity one dot text plus the value of quantity two dot text. Now remember we haven't actually worked these out yet, but we're going to. I'll just put the others in. Okay, dead easy. Okay, so I've worked out what uh, my subtotal is going to be, my, my quantity. Now I have to actually put it into the thing. Now, <coughs> by the power of Castle Grayskull, I've actually called it tot qty dot text. I remembered it this time. It's equal to the string of totty. Okay, cool. So that's that one. We just run that, make sure it works. No build errors. Great. Select our computer. Uh, we're going to choose an Apple this time. Unit price is cool. Five of them. Cost has been updated and look, the total quantity has as well. Now we can't test this because we haven't actually worked out what row two, three and four are done yet, but we are at least putting a box in there. Okay. Job done. On to the next.